In 2019, we had severe flooding all along about uh, seven miles of shoreline in the town of Greece, New York. Existing system such as the revetment, the gabion break wall, the solid sheet pile, or the concrete break wall, all of these systems is designed to go against nature. What about if we can switch that around by using nature to our advantage? How do we design a system that would combine the coexisting of the residents and also aquatic life? So I started to do some various sketches. After we'll be playing around with many different iterations, the next step was what we really need is the technical information. When I started working on this SBDS project, we wanted to see how much energy could be absorbed and diverted by the system. We shrank down our analysis to look specifically at conservation of energy in a fluid dynamic system using Bernoulli's equations. Once we knew the parameters we were looking for, we went to a computer simulation house that ran some modeling. And from that, we were able to generate dynamic water flows, some animations. We saw something very interesting. We saw the uh, vector field analysis of the water flows. So we were able to better understand exactly how our wall worked. And we were able to get to um, a calculation of how much energy was either absorbed or diverted by the wall. As the wave gets higher, the system really kicks in to where you can get a five foot wall having in the 38 to 39% absorption rate. And it can get as high as 41%. You think about that, every time a wave hits, which is about every, can be between every four to six seconds, a large portion of that energy isn't hitting the wall itself. It's actually going into the chamber, is redirected out of the system back towards the lake. That information allow us to start building a true scale prototype and we actually install it onto the Lake Ontario. Pepsi put pro the prototype in the water, you know, took a look at the splash on it, you know, was very happy with its performance compared to a straight steel pile wall. After that, I went through and did some mechanical analysis. The part I was concerned about is the grid structure in front, the water facing end. During storm events, you'll have trees that uh, come free. So I took a 500 pound telephone pole, if you will, and had that hit uh, 10 feet per second, which is about maximum wave velocity. It's built to take the abuse. You know, under very, very heavy conditions like ice conditions, uh, you may get some deformation on the front end, uh, but it's not going to break. If you have 500 pound blocks of ice, that's a big block of ice, it will not damage the break wall. The SBDS is superior in design and performance to the existing rack systems and the uh, Gavian systems. One of my neighbors has a sheet piling system. Both my wife and our neighbor on the other side of our house can feel our house shake when the waves hit that solid sheet pilings. So the SPDS system that absorbs those waves stops all of that uh, hard pounding and, and shaking to the ground. With the rack systems, algae builds up on them. They get slippery. Your children and grandchildren slip and fall on them. You don't have easy access. You can't get down and enjoy the beach with the piles of rocks in front of your house. The Gabian style, where the water goes in, but then can lift up the concrete patios that are on top of them and cause destruction. But with the smart break wall diversion system, where the water comes in, goes into those openings, like a ladder design inside it, so it breaks the waves down, slows them down before it even throws them back out at the next wave. There really is no comparison. One piece is the care that Pepsi took to put on a stair you know, for egress of deer, whatever other animals you might have in the water that can get out. The second aspect of the SPDS that's very helpful is the revetment that's in front of the steel. 
and this helps obviously absorb some of the energy and you don't have to care so much that those rocks are going to settle and move as well because the steel doesn't move and that's the important part environmentally also gives refuge to the smaller animals the smaller fish that's one of the concerns the dec has this is something that's been incorporated into the spds design with the changing climate i think spds is in a good space to adapt to the changes, provide a peace of mind for the resident that is resilient, cost-effective, and environmental friendly. You can't rely on long-term integrity of a revetment wall or gabion wall to give you the same protection as the day it was installed. The SBDS is a long-term solution. It allows a place for um, humanity to have their homes right along the lake, have their property protected, preventing erosion and incorporates natural elements into it to enhance the overall effectiveness of the system. It adds value to the properties, to the homeowner, and improves the quality of life of living along the water. It is my goal to make a positive impact. It would be a joyful experience during the high lake level, embrace it and celebrate rather than be fearful. The SBDS will be a resilient long-term solution